not there. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, uh, you're, you're not there? What'd you do? <laughs> I don't know. What kind of <laughs> magic is this? <laughs> I'm like, where the heck are you? There I am. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Friday, and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal, who's ready to get baked. <laughs> it wasn't the camera. <laughs> the camera was baked. <laughs> it, it wasn't. We're good now, but it wasn't. The, it definitely wasn't the camera. Yeah, I thought you were playing a trick on me for a second I, there. I wasn't sure how to react. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Trey says, uh-oh, technically different. It was. It's always technically different here on uh, the RFS family channel. Are, it's still called RFS, Dan. <laughs> I are, don't, you, are you still the only one getting credit here, even you, though I put in a what, lot of work? All right, you, what's your change.org speech? I need more credit. That's, that, that's it. Look, look, you guys. for Crystal. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> not at all. Not even close. Look, I plan to make the calendars. I make all the posts. In case you missed it, I came up with the idea for Pictionary and Million Dollars Butt. I do a baking show. I perform on the weeknight shows. I do the back end on the uh, Dantix episodes. I'm just saying I need a little bit more credit here. All right. That's, that's all so I'm asking what do you for. So what do you suppose? Can we just change it to RFS Crystal? That's so wordy. <laughs> and RFS Dan's not. <laughs> that's so. That's so wordy. Come on, wordy. who's signing my petition? That's that's so wordy. <laughs> Shannon's suggesting we just change the channel name to RFS Fam. But the S <laughs> is for Crystal. No, Crystal does not start with S. Try again. What else you got? Uh. Continuing lack of credit. I would have for to Crystal. ask Jess what it would take to switch everything to RFS Fam. I do own rfsfam.com. Uncle Yukon says that I deserve 99% of the credit. Damn, I mean Dan, deserves 100% of the fault. I like the way you Dang, think. we're not even assigning blame here, but he's got us covered. I mean, we all watch the show. Right. Uh, hashtag credit for Crystal, I'm with you, Hannah. Nancy says, Dan who? Who said that? <laughs> Nancy. Oh, gosh. I Gosh. kid, I kid. I get plenty of credit. Oh except when Dan takes, tries to take credit for creating Pictionary and Million Dollars Butt. Alexis says, uh, Dan, hi friend, how are you doing today? I am doing fantastic, although I'm about to lose 50% of my company. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> AliXA is doing okay, in case you were wondering. Oh my gosh. Uh, Angela says, RFS Dan featuring the amazing Crystal. Thank you, thank you. I'm here every I, Friday night. What am I, a sidekick? Yeah. The amazing Dan. Mm, it doesn't have the same ring to it. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the deal. If you've seen my post, you know what's going on this week. Uh, Linda sent us from England a package of scone mix. I have made scones from scratch before. I was not a fan. It's a biscuit. I'm not the biggest fan. But we're going to try this the way they are traditionally eaten in England or so the internet says. Okay. Oh, we got a super chat here already from Alicia. Thank you so much, Alicia, who says, Happy Friday! Excited for tonight! I love scones! But so many people love scones. I don't see the appeal. Right. It's it's basically a KFC biscuit. Oh, look at I you, By the end of the show, you're going to be singing its praises. I hope so. I really do, because everybody says they're really good. I used to work with a guy who made them all the time and said they were amazing. Um, I have not yet seen the appeal, but... I looked into it. Um, Chris says, did I hear Crystal say, I need more Chris? Or was that credit? Meh, I hear what I want to hear. <laughs> Typical man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle Yukon says, damn, I mean, damn. Apparently you're just going by damn now, and I kind of like it. Um, <laughs> is the thing that blocks things. <laughs> he Look, look, to be fair, to give credit where it is due... Dan is the cause and the solution to all the technical difficulties. Right? That's true. <laughs> right? I mean, that, that's, a, that's a fair statement. It's not going on merch, but it's a good statement. Uh, Barry says, I love anything from Tesco. Great stores. We don't have Tescos out here. We don't. Well, I've never seen Skull Mix. Let me show you what I do have. What's a Tesco? Is it's that... a, a store. Yeah, but like, you know, is it a Kroger? Is it a Food for Sam's? Is it a... It's, it it's a... not American. Okay. So there's no equivalent as far as I know. Okay, so here's the deal. This is my kind of scone. Um, I got this... Oh, where did I get this? Uh, at Home Goods. The price tag says Home Goods. Um, apple fritter scone nuts. That's more my <laughs> case. <laughs> I've been kicked into scone nuts before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, 
I have not tried these yet, even though I bought them a while ago, but this is more my pain. Let's get some more sugar. You guys know I like it sweet. Popo's on one right now, just flinging furniture around the house. Wow, he is just, he just <laughs> Don't mind off. that. Um, so yeah, I, these are not going to compare to this by far. This is not an apple fritter. This is, this is a biscuit. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, Amanda says, I got the flour and brown sugar containers that you use. I'm going to run them through the dishwasher before I put the ingredients in. Awesome. I highly recommend washing everything you purchase before you use them. Let me know what you think. I, I think they're amazing. You know that. I talk about them all the time. BR Bugs says, Crystal, I dreamt I came for a, a visit. Your phone kept getting spammed and you'd troll them by answering in your best customer service voice, then holding the phone up for one of the cats to meow into. Totally sounds like something I would do. That's, <laughs> Absolutely. That's fantastic. Um, I have been considering at work, like 70% of the times the phone rings, it's nothing. It's it's like a sales call. And I know because it almost always says a city state, city and state on the caller ID. And when I answer it, it's silent for a moment and then it beeps. As soon as I hear that beep, I hang up. I want no part of this. Whatever it is, I want no part. I've been considering just pushing buttons. Like if you're going to beep at me, I'm just going to beep back at you. It just annoys the heck out of me. Um, give me some good ideas for what I can do to get back at the spam calls. I have to answer the phone. It's literally my job. I'm allowed to hang up once I realize there's nobody there or like not a real call, like client. You gotta play it, you gotta play it straight. The first few months I was there before I learned the game they were playing, I played into all of it not knowing what I was in for. I don't have the patience for that anymore. A lot of times I'll, I'll see the caller ID and recognize it, just pick it up and hang it back up. Just don't even want that. Okay, back to scones, let's do this. So, is Linda here? Linda, have you shown up for the scone episode? I need to know. So, the traditional way to eat these is with clotted cream and jam. By the way, clotted cream needs a new name. That sounds awful. Apparently there's a big debate, depending on where you're from, on whether you put the jam down first or the clotted cream down first. What's it show? Look at what's it showing here? On here it shows the jam first. But I I went a little too deep into a rabbit hole last week. It's a big debate. You guys take this very, very seriously. Linda, I need to know which side of the scone you are on. Jam first or clotted cream first? Do you eat it with clotted cream? Is clotted cream actually a popular thing like the internet says? I have no idea. Okay, so yesterday morning, I was gonna make you guys a video, but let me let me explain what happened. So you guys know, if you were here Wednesday night, Dan went on Wednesday and got me uh, heavy whipping cream. There was some debate. Wilton, if you were here, I believe you were the one who asked about uh, heavy cream versus heavy whipping cream. None of our stores have ever, I've ever seen heavy cream. I've only seen heavy whipping cream. So I did do some research to try to figure out what the difference is, and they're basically the same thing. So we use heavy whipping cream just because that's what is available, and they seem to be pretty much the same thing. Um, slight difference in uh, milk fat content, apparently, but pretty much interchangeable in a recipe. So Dan goes and gets it. In case you missed it, I'm gonna tell the story. Um, if you heard it, you can laugh at Dan again. I come home for lunch. No, I came home after work, and he says, did I get you the right cream? And I'm looking in the fridge. Where the hell is it, Dan? And he's starting to get a little panicky. And I'm like, did you leave it in your car? It, it has happened before. We've left groceries in the car before. Um, but mind you, he went to the store at like nine in the morning. So it's now 5.15 and the cream is not in the fridge. So he's looking all around. He starts to panic. And I look up and it's on top of the fridge where it has been since about nine, 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> it was very puffy. It was very puffy. <laughs> we could not use that heavy cream at all. That was not safe for anybody. So... Yesterday morning, Dan had to get up and go to the store again, but um, if you know Dan, you know he gets sidetracked a little bit, so <laughs> at like 9.15, I'm like, dude, you need to hurry up. It needs to get in the oven for 12 hours. So he comes home, and he puts it in the oven for 12 hours. I looked at a bunch of different recipes. The consensus seems to be around 180 degrees for 10 to 12 hours, so we put it in there. 12 hours later, we take it out. You guys, this thing's still liquid. I wasn't sure what it was supposed to be like, so I did a little bit more research, and it's supposed to be a little bit thicker. So in it went for two more hours. Um, at this point, we're at about 11.30. I've got to go to bed. But it's got to cool before it can go in the fridge. So I take it out. I put it on the stove. We did record some stuff, but it, it's not worth watching. Trust me. Um, I take it out at about 11.30. I put it on the counter, and I let it cool, and I go to bed. I'm like, F it. What can I do? i got to go to sleep. I'll put it in the fridge in the morning. But then I couldn't fall asleep. 
And then it started raining and it was really loud. So it was like 1.30 in the morning. I get up and I put it in the fridge. I've not touched it since. So I have no idea what we're getting into. I'm going to pull it out and see what is going on um, and whether this actually worked. Is my mouse somewhere? <laughs> Are we mousing? No. Is it working? No. Oh, there it is. It was okay. kind of being weird. Nope. That was you. Nope. Oh, it is being weird. Okay. Here, here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh, what's the difference between jelly and jam? Tristan wants to know. I can never remember. It it has to do with like the consistency or something. Google it. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, oh wait, I think she had a joke there because she says I can't finish the joke without offending people. Um, we're here to offend, so please. <laughs> um, Sam with the super chat says when you get a crappy call, you should answer the phone and say the body is hidden where no one can find it. <laughs> um, my old man boss might look at me a little bit weird. <laughs> I'd have to whisper it into the phone, which might make it even creepier. I'm, I'm kind of liking your idea. This may have to happen. Your, your phone voice is weird anyway. <laughs> You're always so creeped out by it. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Sam. Appreciate the support. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, I saw Linda says, I haven't had scones since I was a kid. Wasn't a fan of cream and had them just with strawberry jam. Okay, so you're on neither side of the scone with the the clotted cream or the jam first. I, why would it be such a big deal? Apparently you sandwich it together anyway, so I don't know what difference it makes. It all goes in your mouth. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Angela wants to give Dan credit for being smart or perhaps lucky enough to have the amazing Crystal as the queen of this RFS fam Lollapalooza. Aw, It thanks. almost came towards me as a compliment, and at the last minute it took a left turn. We call Crystal. that a backhanded compliment. Is that what that is? <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so before we do scones, let's pull the clotted cream that cooked for 12 hours, sat for an hour and a half, two hours, um, and then went in the fridge for... A lot more hours than that. How many hours did we end up putting it in the oven for? It was in the oven for 14 hours total. We ended up, um, so at 9.30 when I put it back in, I turned it up to 200 just to see if maybe that would help. Um, and then I took it out and it sat from 11.30 until 1.30 in the morning. And then it has been in the fridge ever since. It's about 6.15 now. So let's get it out and see what happened. By the way, it was still liquid when I took it out. And in looking at different recipes, I've seen different results. Some people say there's still cream on the bottom and you have to like strain out the cream. Some people say the whole thing is thick and you just scoop it all out. Who knows? Um, yes, Morgan, hello. Congratulations on happy, healthy baby. I hope you're doing well. Um, and oh my God, the full head of hair on that kid. Jeez. She says <laughs> clotted cream does not sound appetizing. Not even a little bit, right? The only thing that I know that clots is blood. Like, what else clots? Cheese? No. It's clotted cheese. No, cottage, Dan. That's different. No L. No L. Oh. So there's lots of moisture dripping off the foil. Oh, yeah, that Can you take that? That's not the business. Um. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this looks disgusting. Oh, no. Oh, Mooch is all about it. <laughs> um, I don't think I can eat this. <laughs> Mooch says he'll eat it. So hardly any of it has, has thickened. Only a little bit on the top, but it's like hard. Like hard, hard. Back up. You can't have this, boo. <laughs> he really wants this. Um, does anybody know anything about clotted cream? <laughs> does it smell bad? No. No, it doesn't. It's not like rotten. It was in the oven at low temperature, so it didn't just like sit out and rot. <laughs> Mooch, stop. He's going more crazy for this than sour cream. I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this because it's like chunky and hard. I don't think we're eating this, you guys. <laughs> Liz with the bar face. Stir it all up. Maybe that's what they mean by clots. The firmer parts mixed all through. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. Everything that I saw in researching this was either you strain the liquidy bits and only use the chunky bits, but then it looks like fluffy, like whipped cream cheese, or the whole thing has become a thicker consistency and you scoop it all out and it's good. Neither of those things have happened with mine. Not even a little bit. It's like 
stuck on the sides. Oh, this is disgusting, you guys. It clotted. Uh, Beer on Bug says, Dan, what's it taste like? Do you want me to taste it? Do you want to taste it? No, but you want me to? Do you want to? Will you? Um... <laughs> Mooch will. Uh... <laughs> Poor Mooch. Can you just whip it up like whipped cream? I don't think so. I, and that's the thing. I'm not really sure what to do at this point because there was conflicting recipes. Like, the recipe and the instructions were the same, but at the end was the difference. Like, what it came out as. And when I first took it out after 12 hours, it was still completely liquid. And then after two more hours, it was starting to kind of get a film, like a, a skin on the top of it. It didn't look appetizing at all. Uh, Alex says it's properly clotted, but it looks disgusting. I, You guys, I don't think I can bring myself to eat this. Like, not even a little bit. We're making it out of cream cheese and sugar, and I don't care if that's not real clotted cream. That's what we're doing. Are you going to taste it? Uh... <laughs> Just use some cream cheese. will probably be better. Yes, I do have... Um, I was prepared for this. So I have a recipe for mock clotted cream made out of uh, cream cheese, sugar, salt, and whipping cream. And we're going to we're gonna do that. We'll definitely try that. Uh, Jason says put it in your mouth. So there's chunky bits like stuck to the spoon. I would not recommend taking a bite. I would recommend you like lick it. Right? Oh, you look unhappy. You look like pickled beets unhappy. Well, like here's the thing I'm concerned about real quick. Like, I poured this heavy milk into the saucer, like a, and then, like, I put it in the heat for 14 hours. Like, like, what's the difference between that and me leaving it up on the top of there, and you're like, what the, f that's, like, disgusting. Because this was hot enough to, in theory, kill bacteria, I guess? So you're not going to get food poisoning off of it. It should just taste I'm like I'm worried that cream. it's going to make me... I mean, okay, sick. so don't take a bite. Like, lick the bottom of the spoon. Oh, no. Oh! Okay. Okay, you're not spitting it out. It's like... Better than pickled beets. It's kind of like... Your whole... It's like caking your teeth and your tongue. It's like... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Gross. It's like... It's like cream cheese, but like... It's like cream cheese, but like not without. Okay, Mooch, you can have a taste. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. It's this is like good. It was good. Like that wasn't bad. So now okay, I need but you to like. It's the wrong consistency. Um, it was a little soupy on the one part, but like it was chewy. So that's kind of. <laughs> I what don't it... want chewy cream on my scones. It's not gonna make me sick, right? No. Then I think we're okay on that. It's a little wet on there. You saw how much of it stayed on there. Um, I'm willing to try one with that. Okay, but how do we do it? Because even, like, look, when you look at this, it's, like, fluffy, like, whipped cream cheese. Um, that part, I'm not sure. I just know that it wasn't... How do I get that it, consistency? It wasn't gross. It tasted kind of like cream cheese, but, like, not unflavored, because that heavy cream's already sweet. That heavy milk is sweet. I liked it. I liked it. I'll try it. I don't know how to do that, but I liked it. I'm not sure about the consistency. <laughs> okay. I I don't know what to do at this point, you guys. Let's see. Uh, whip it, maybe? I can try. If you and that's the thing. I kept looking for a recipe that said just whip it. Like, it's whipping cream. Maybe you can we whip have to it, right? Off this, maybe we have to but if we off pour the it off, there's not going to be much. There's only, like... A spoonful or two, maybe. It just wasn't gross. Like, okay. you're, like well, it was like kind of good. The only thing that made it kind of skeeved out a little bit is that like I poured it in there and put it in heat for like so many hours. But it was hot but, enough like, to like not it tasted, let bacteria grow. It tasted good. Oh, you guys. Uh, whip it with sugar. You see, you're not supposed to though. That's that's the like fake stuff. It's supposed to just. I wanted to do the traditional stuff. I wanted to eat scones the way you're supposed to eat scones. Uh, do you have a drain? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Over in the sink, that's a great place for it to end up. They then use whipped cream. I don't have whipped cream and I don't like whipped cream. That's why I was kind of hesitant about whipping this anyway. 
Oh. Well, I'm willing if you if you want to try to make it work. I'm willing to try it because it wasn't rotten. I don't at know all. that there's even enough of it for like my mixer to whip it, like for the the whisk to get down there. Then let's make a little hand batch. You're gonna whip it by hand. You're gonna make whipped cream by hand, Dan. What's going on behind you in the laundry room there? <laughs> Topo's investigating. Hey, Topo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you don't know. Uh, he's back there just like, I don't know what he's doing back there. All right, so I, I'm going to try. We'll we'll stick it in here. We'll try to whisk it up. And... Yeah, I was good. I'm glad I tried that. That was good. Like that was... There's just not very much of it that even thickened is the problem. Um, Chris has got the answer for you. What is Chris's answer? When a problem comes along, you must whip it. Whip it good. Into shape. It's not too late to whip it. <laughs> You can't see that's all you can see of it. Yes, that's it. Okay, I need you to manage Mooch. Dan. It's like not even enough to coat the bottom here. Why did I think this was a good idea? I'm not sure. <laughs> I just wanted to do it the right way. Your koala cat's holding on. He's like, I oh, know I'm getting something. I don't want to just dump it all in here because then I'm just basically going to make whipped cream. It's pretty liquidy if you do. Yeah, most of it is liquidy. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the thicker bits off. The chat's blurry from here. Uh, people say Where's glasses? So, uh, that's a good question. They're over here. No, we, uh, we're going to have this battle for a minute because he's really wanting to come over yeah, here. Yeah, he had a taste. That's fine, but you gotta like swoop. You gotta stay right there, dude. You gotta like oh, just stay right there. Are you good? Can we get a can we get a commentary here? And um, I'm having egg separation flashbacks. I can tell you're struggling a little bit. Here. Um, I'm really big on texture, and like <sighs> this is clumpy and liquidy. And there, it, just, it looks like milk that's gone bad. He really wants this. Oh, Mouse Queen's here. Yo, been a minute. What is up, friend? How are y'all? You came in at a great minute because Crystal's struggling here. Crystal. No. <laughs> help. Uh, uh, no. Stop. That's not helping. Mooch does what he wants. Like, you don't know. All day long, he just punks me all day long. And, like, I just do what he wants to do. He's very much thinks that you made this for him. Very much. No. All right. Come on. Come on. Since I put it in my hand, like, he's like, let me down. Yes. Let me down. Ugh. I'm really grossed out by this, you guys. You got this. It's going to make, it's gonna make it's a see, scone thing. Lily CK says, I looked it up and says you should not whip it up. See, but what am I supposed to do at this point? I can't. This is not usable, as is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Just stir it? But it's lumpy. The battle that's going on over here with me and Mooch. He the just... battle that's going on with me and Clotted Cream. <laughs> he really wants to know what's up. Uh, I don't know. Um, I would say abandon ship, except for this is kind of fun. I'm very curious to yeah, see. Well, what... you're enjoying I'm yourself. curious to see where this is gonna go at this point. So I, I want to see it through. I have to do something. It's not usable as is because it's it's simultaneously chunky and liquidy. Right. What's up, Blake? Yeah, not just yet. <laughs> you better come. I'll, I'll come get you in the green room when we're ready. It's just. Can you see? It's like lumpy and liquidy. I just. I... <laughs> Christine says throw it out and use the quick recipe. Uh, Googled it, and that top layer is the clotted cream. Right, but here's the thing I didn't have a top layer. I had spots it's like it didn't that cook were enough, maybe yeah like it seemed like it needed maybe more heat maybe more time i didn't have more time we did it till bedtime <laughs> like from yeah. the morning to night like as long oh. as i possibly could it literally was in the oven for 14 hours right i'm trying to mash the thick bits out so maybe it'll get an even consistency but it's still too liquidy i don't think we can do anything with this you're okay. welcome to try to pour it onto yours i don't know that this is usable it's certainly not it. what it's supposed to be so I do have a recipe for a uh, mock clotted cream, basically. We are going to do that because I'm sure that's not going to be bad. It's just sugar and a heavy cream and cream cheese. So we can make that work 
This we'll just set to the side for Dan to figure out what he wants to do with it when it's time. Oh, it, we can just be done with it. <laughs> Now I gotta watch all this chunkiness out of here. Feel free to uh, entertain. Oh my gosh. What's going on in the chat? Um, people say hi to Mooch, people are showing Blake's head. So, uh, Lily CK said, Dan, take a look at the recipe I posted. I would try to look for it, but I didn't see where you posted it at. Posted it at that. But we'll get to, like, I can, but I think Crystal gave up on that already. I'm, there's no time to make it again. Like, I don't have 12 hours. Where did you post? another 12 hours to cool it. Where did you post it so I could go check it out? Well, now you made her dirty another dish. I know. <laughs> I'm I know. disappointed. I was really hoping that was going to be, like, I wanted to be able to compare the two. Like, here's the cheap and easy version, or here's the, like, spend half your day making it version, and is it worth it? Um, and the answer is no. No, it's not worth it. Excuse me. I don't know that I would try that again. That that was... That was brutal. <sighs> I, I compared recipes... I I couldn't tell if I couldn't tell if the oven would go off or not. So every couple. Hey, don't be putting the same thing in the cast looking back in the food. Oh, that's done. That's why we're not eating this. Dang. Blake, <laughs> Blake popped out. Blake popped out like somebody popped out <laughs> of the lockers on you can't do that on television. <laughs> With to his, tell you not to with double his, dip with, with his headphone finger. on, like the guy that used to run the show, <laughs> just to be like telling me stuff. All right, all right. He came uh, flying out the roof. We got a member super chat here from Mouse Queen. Thank you so much, friend. Thanks for being a member for so long. She says, falling into a whole new fandom black hole. Be prepared for a buttload of Tron references in shows to come. Still a oh Reach fan, gosh. but times change. What's a uh, Tron? Are you a Jeff Bridges fan? You should watch The Wizard. That was a good one with him in it. But, uh, Alec has a theory. Maybe the recipe was designed for British ovens. They work differently from American ovens. That could be why it didn't cook properly. What are we talking about differently? Like, are they convection <laughs> ovens? Yeah, what is that? Because that's, that's the only difference in an oven that I know of. Like, we have a regular oven. Convection ovens work like an air fryer where the air moves around. Maybe that's the difference. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Lily CK said, hope that helps. I'm not sure. Yeah, where did... Uh, the is mouse your, is not working Is the mouse being weird? All right, hold on a second. No, I can't. Nope, there, I can go up. Nope, now I can't go down. Oh, you want to go up? No, okay, I can't. You can't just, like, <laughs> can I have the mouse? That's what I want. I want the mouse. I would like control of the oh, mouse, no. please. Oh, no, are you going to cry? I, you guys know what happens when Wait, things go wrong. Not, I hold. don't function well. Hold, hold on. Uh, Alex says, by the way, I love you guys. I'm, I'm too poor to support you guys monetarily, but someday I will. No worries. I appreciate you just being here. That's support enough. Yeah, just show up. Uh, and he also says yes. Okay, yes. So it's a uh, it's convection oven. You also have a gas oven, not electric, and they cook differently. Yes, that's now the mouse isn't working. Yes. Oh, you unplugged it. Okay. I have to try to get you some real estate here. Uh, are you there? Where are we doing? Okay, there we go. Yay. I have a mouse. Okay, stop, stop it. Uh, Amanda with the super chat. Check, check. <laughs> are we working? We're good. Are we good? We're good. We're good. Thank you. Uh, Lily, I'm trying to see what you... S Stop it! Um, I don't know where you posted a recipe. Jess T says there's something dropping from the camera on the one facing the side of the mixer. Something dropping from the camera. Uh, I don't know. If you mean, like, bizarre lines, I, it's being weird tonight. It's, like, static. Oh, it's just going to be one of those nights, yeah. you guys. Yeah, it's going to be It's gonna be one of those nights. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chris says, hey, Crystal, over here, look here. Even if you aren't thrilled at the start, we all love you, friend. Well, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> You're making me crazy. You need to stop. I can't tell if I should take him away or let him keep making you crazy. <gasps> he just wants back here. He wants more of that cream. He's I gave, apparently that's his new favorite. It used I to be gave sour him cream. Plenty. He has had plenty. I gave him. Uh, Mouse with a super super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mouse. Not so much a Jeff Bridges fan as as much as I've quickly grown a liking for his co-star Bruce Boxleitner. Guy is a true badass on the screen in multiple fandoms, be it Babylon Five or the Tron franchise. I'm not familiar with either of those. Do you know anything so about I'm Tron? So I'm gonna take your word for it. Um, weird suits and lights. Okay. That's it. Uh, BR Bugs says, hopefully the temp was 180 Fahrenheit and not Celsius, which would be about 350. But after 12 hours, you've had fe you'd have feta cheese. No, it was Fahrenheit. I definitely checked. Uh, Hannah says, hashtag vodka for Crystal. We'll see how the rest of this goes. Let's see. 
Uh, Libby's Cave is here. Hello, friend. Thank you for joining us. The British ovens are in Celsius, so our ovens don't always equate to theirs. So let me double check. I'm going to I'm gonna double check my recipe because this recipe does say how to make authentic British clotted cream, but everything I saw, like, looks like it's, it's American and it's everything, like, accounted for the fact. Yeah, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover tightly with foil, put in the oven for 12 hours until the top is lightly golden. My top never got lightly golden, so something definitely went wrong even after 14 hours. I don't know. Over it. Over it. Don't ever want to talk about actual clotted cream ever again. Let's talk mock clotted cream. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Mouse Queen says, though, Jeff Bridges is aight. He is the dude. Come on. Okay, so let's do this one. Where did this recipe go? That's right. Sorry, I think I was talking about Bo Bridges, his brother. I think that's who I was talk, talk, talking <laughs> Is about. Is that really his brother? Queen. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're brothers. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can be his best friend now. Okay, to this, we are going to add a cup of whipping cream. A cup? I thought it was... Hold on. You guys, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Give me a minute. Tobo wants to know why he's not getting any licks of this. Okay, we are correct. I don't know why I had that. Okay, three tablespoons of sugar, pinch of salt, cup of whipping cream. Let me get my whipping cream out. cup of whipping cream. Ooh, stink. That was it. You licked it all. Uh, Lily CK says she posted a couple comments of a mock cream recipe if you need one. I have one. Don't worry. I That's, that's what we're doing now. I, I was prepared for this to go wrong. I didn't want it to go wrong, but I was prepared for this to go wrong, just in case. All right, so three ounces of cream cheese, a cup of whipping cream. Spoons of sugar. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Huh? Oh, we're we're eating, <laughs> we're eating some cream cheese. All right, and a pinch of salt. Uncle Yukon says, I just checked. The recipe says 180 Celsius and it says 350 Fahrenheit. The recipe I'm using says 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I don't know. I think 12 <laughs> hours at 350 and it would have absolutely burned. I don't think that would have worked. Who knows? I appreciate everybody trying to help. Honestly, I'm over clotted cream for the rest of my life. That's don't it. even care. Hair lies crystal. Don't. Screw you, clotted. Doesn't want to talk about clotted cream. Screw you. Don't even want to talk about clotted blood. Scabs, none of it. I want no part. It's like on your Tinder profile. It's like a pro. What would it be like? Pros and cons. Cons. A uh, uh, clotted cream talk. <laughs> Turn offs. Clotted cream. All right. I should have probably whipped the cream cheese first because now it's going into a liquid. But yeah, here we are, screwing things up since day one. I wonder if I should get a whisk in here instead of a paddle. <laughs> Louis K says, that's a strange recipe. Who knows? Look, it's British things. This is why we don't eat this stuff. This 
scabs, clots, and eggs on the next getting therapy with Crystal. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Man, I'm gonna stick to cookies. <laughs> Are you light rollering yourself? <laughs> I hear whoosh, 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 whoosh. So are you lint rolling yourself? I just hear I whoosh, 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 whoosh. It either sounds like you're a DJ or you're lint rolling. Yes, one or it's the all, other. Waka, 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 waka. Okay, while this whips up, Dan, yeah. let's talk about what's going on the rest of the month that is not disappointing recipes. What you got going on? You got the calendar somewhere? Yeah, yoink. <laughs> you can have that for a minute. <laughs> Alex says I should make that into a shirt. Screwing things up since day one. All right, before we get to the rest of the calendar, let's thank all of our amazing members. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all of your support. Some of you have been members for like 20 something months. We so appreciate that. I know, we're almost domestic uh, membership members now. Like, <laughs> it's together. almost a domestic partnership. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're a, almost a, common almost, law members. Yeah, a domestic membership. <laughs> That's oh. Even if you guys can't support us with membership, no worries, just being here is support. Come on in, Mooch. Just stay on that side of the counter, or we're gonna fight. You might have to remove that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remove that. Um, other ways to support us, if you guys cannot do so monetarily, share the shows. Um, tell your friends, invite your friends to come watch. Things like Pictionary and Dantix are great things to invite your friends to come watch because they are interactive, they can play along with us. So even if they're not into baking and stuff, who doesn't like games? You know, come on now. We're coming up on 4,000 subscribers. Ooh, maybe go like, us. Maybe in the Tell next, your friends. Maybe within the next, like, two weeks. Help us get to 4,000 subscribers, yes, guys. we will do a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Ooh, yay. That'd be fun. What you got? Uh... We'll figure that out later. Right. Uh, Bean <laughs> Graham with the super chat. Thank you so much all the way from New Zealand. While you were busy making clotted cream for humans, Topo was sneaking in to make sure it was perfect for the cats. Usually. Usually. He's, uh... Learning lots of bad habits from Mooch. Sorry, I have hiccups. Uh, Crystal the Animal Lover is here. Thank you so much for joining us. She says, uh, hello, Crystal and Dan. She said hi to you too, Dan. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, Alec says, by the way, my username used to be Hey, it's Leo, so I've been here for a long time. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. She's yes. throwing us off with changing of the username. I get it. Sometimes you've got to change it up. Like how uh, RFS, Dan. RFS Dan should be RFS Crystal from now on. Starting a petition. Chris says just being here is support enough. That's what I thought, but the restraining order said otherwise. <laughs> <coughs> Hannah says, Dad wants me to make carrot cake. Ugh, no ugh. You make that carrot cake. You love that carrot cake. You that carrot cake. That's one of my favorite recipes, friend. Make it. Tell him he has to grate the carrots. Okay, we're still a little lumpy here, so I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I should have whipped the cream cheese first to get the lumps out. But whatever. We're just winging it here. Um, I'm starting to think that I should have a shirt or an oven mitt that says I have no idea what I'm doing instead of Dan. Maybe? Something? Uh, once this is done, I'm going to throw this in the fridge just to keep it cold while we are making the scones. Are you over talking about stuff for later? For oh, later? I forgot what we were doing. Yes, yes. Stuff for later. No, damn it. 50% of the time I am right. Here's our calendar. If you guys have not seen it for the rest of the month, forget all about clotted cream. We're making scones tonight. Uh, tomorrow we will be here for a regular call-in episode of Dantix. Mouse Queen, you're not going to want to miss that. We've missed you. Please, if you could be there, call in. We want to talk to you. Diana says, make him do it? There's a thought. That's what I do when Dan wants things. I'm like, yeah, I'll make it, but you got to do the sucky part I don't want to do. Try it. See what happens. Um, next Wednesday we'll be here for coloring book night or art night. We'll see what we're doing. Some, some sort of art. The coloring book will be there. Dan will probably color. I'm not sure if I can handle coloring on my hands, but we'll see. We'll see. Next week, you guys are not going to want to miss it. Lots of you guys have asked how I make brownies. You've asked me for a brownie recipe. I don't have one. I make it from a mix. I will show you next week how I make my brownies. Once the brownies are done, we're going to fancy them up and make them into Bailey's Irish Cream Brownies. You're not going to want to miss that. That looks amazing. It's got like a frosting and a ganache. Amazing. Amazing. 
Uh, after that, we have a answer in the chat version. So if you guys want to support us, that's a good one to share with your friends. Let them know they can come play some trivia um, and answer in the chat. So anybody who's too nervous to call in, I get it. No worries. Play along in the chat and see if you can get your name on that leaderboard. And uh, what else is going on? We got some Mario Kart uh, on the Switch, some Evo Skewers. You guys will really be excited to see that one. That's that's going to be a fun one. Okay, we have a whole like, machine to make them with. We have a special pan. So I don't know if anybody's actually going to be able to bake along with us on this one. Because there is a special pan you need. The pan runs about 20 to 30 bucks. Totally worth it. If you ever had them, it is worth it. I promise you. Okay, so we're whipped. We whipped it good. We've got a cream cheese whippy creamy thingy. Good enough. Uh, while you're scooping out, I'll read some stuff to you. Mouse Queen says she's going to be there Saturday. Press this suit. It's been what? a long time since that suit's been pressed. It has. It's been it crumpled has. up in the corner for weeks. Uh -huh. um, somebody asked earlier if we saw or was going to see or if anybody liked the new Batman movie. Holly went and saw it last night and asked her if it was good. And she said it was great. She loved it. Yeah? She loved it. But she also was a like, big Twilight fan. And like, <laughs> So we're not trusting her no, recommendation? No, no, no. Is and, that what you're saying? That, the guy from Twilight, the Robert Patterson, he's Batman. Ah. Uh, you know. Weird. So, yeah. Oh, anybody can be Batman these days. It'll be my turn soon. <laughs> um, so I heard it was good. And also, um, how did you like the movie last Sunday, Crystal? Um, it was fantastically horrible. Like, like amusingly bad, but totally worth it. Um, I'm not mad that we went and saw it at all. I had a lot of fun. I the, it was great. the movie theater experience was disappointing because, see, um, my body is all torso and I have very little legs. And I forgot about that part where my feet don't reach the ground at the movie theater, which is a really uncomfortable position to sit in for two hours. Like, you have to cross your legs, uncross your legs, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, you can't see, I'm crossing my legs different ways, I'm crossing both my legs, I'm trying to put my legs up on Dan, there's no comfortable way for me to sit in a movie theater. But, the movie was just as campy and cheesy as I expected, and I, I loved to hate it? No. I, no, it's, it's... When you make, like, an indie cheap budget film for the sake of indie cheap budget film, those are, like, compliments. Like, it was, yes. like, it was Sharknado level. Eh, I don't know if it was that bad. <laughs> I had a great time with it. I thought it was fun. We we got there, there's only one other person in the whole theater. That part was nice. I think it's funny that they're renting out theaters, but, like, there's nobody in the theater. Like, I didn't have to rent that out. Right, but, like, I even, like was trying to open up everything so quietly and I was trying to be so Just quiet. To not disturb the one other the person. The one there. other person that was there. The one other person that was there. But it was fun. I had a great time. It was empty and that was so crazy. I recommend the movie. If you're into like cheesy low budget horror movies um that are slightly predictable. It'll be directed go for it. video like now. Like I think like, <laughs> like next week. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like a big time okay. movie. But it was here's good. our mock clotted cream. It's okay. fluffy, it's exactly what I wanted the other one to turn out to be. Okay. So I think this will be good. We will try this. I'm going to throw this in the fridge so it doesn't get melty and gooey. Oh. What happened? The fridge is full. Oh, yes. Okay. So. Um, Alice Week of Adventures says, I can't do movie theaters anymore. I think I'm about over it, too. It was... Lily CK says, you mean German pancakes? No, they're actually Dutch pancakes. Maybe Germans do them that way, too. I don't know. But, um... We get them in Solvang, which is a little Dutch village in uh, California, like Santa Barbara County, I think. Uh, so this this particular version is Dutch, but maybe Germans do the same thing. I don't know. Uh, Mouse Queen says, oh, a horror movie, eh? Not my thing. That's all good. Uh, what was the movie? It's called Studio 666. It's um, made by and starring the Foo Fighters. I, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Look, if you're into cheesy, low-budget movies, see it. That's really all I can say about it. Yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> it's just... It was a lot of fun. It, it was campy. It was good. I'm glad we went. We vlogged it. That'll be in a vlog. Yes. Yeah, so that's something everybody will get to see soon. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's get on this. I need to know, can somebody please tell me... Ah, here we go with these uh, British ovens. Preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius slash fan 200 degrees slash gas mark seven. What? Um, can somebody translate that into American for me? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, what's 220 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 
220 degrees Celsius is 428 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, stop. Okay, 428, so we'll go 425. That's hot. I don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna do this by hand because it says empty the scone mix into a mixing bowl and add the milk. <laughs> 428, right? That seems really hot. I don't know. Uh, Aaron says the lead singer of Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, was on a YouTube show called The Hot Ones, love it, um, and was talking about how they came up with the idea for the movie. I've not seen that, so I would check that out. Mouse Queen says takoyaki is so good. Yes, you can use this same pan to make takoyaki. Uh, yes, Afrael said, if you go to an Asian market and find a takoyaki pan, it works to make Abel skewers. Yes, you can do the same thing. I think Dan's going to show it off. So this is the pan. Um, we've never made takoyaki in it. We've only made Abel skewers. So that's what you need. I will not be making my own takoyaki anymore. We will always only buy it from a takoyaki food truck. Takoyaki means cooked octopus. or right? octopus... They're like octopus balls with like stuff in them. Yes, Hannah, I agree that 425 seems hot for baking. Um, Alex says, fan is convection, gas mark is gas oven. See, I have a gas oven, but we don't have, I have to pick a temperature. So, I don't know. 425? See, I can't set it to 428. So, 4, I would round down, but 425, that's, that seems like that's excessive. Hot. That's very excessive. Does anybody have any recommendations? Hmm. I don't know. Nobody, nobody has input, so... Mm -hmm. uh, what's the cooking time? 15, 12 to 15 minutes. I feel like it should be like 400 for 12 to 15 minutes or 375. Like cookies and stuff and cakes are usually like 350. 425 is what you do frozen french fries at. Yes. 220 Celsius is hot. I agree. Hey, Dan. Don't look. Okay. Jess T with the super chat says, Once a man assaulted me with milk, cheese, and butter. How dare he? <laughs> <laughs> I just came into the frame and I'm out again. I'm out again. <laughs> uh, Linda says, Gas Mark 7 sounds pretty average when cooking. Okay, but we don't have Gas Mark 7. Like, I, that's not even a thing here. Um, so I have to do Fahrenheit degrees. The, the equivalent of 220 degrees Celsius is 420 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Do I do it at 425? Uh, Hannah's suggesting 375. Kathy says 350. Uh, what brand in the muffins? I will check the website. It's a uh, Tesco scone mix. Can we get a... But see, I think Tesco is only uh, uh, English. So I don't know if they're going to have an American equivalent. I'm not sure I put that pan in the oven with that plastic handle. Oh, if you're talking about the Abel skewers, no, that goes on the oven or on the, on the stove, not in the oven. We're good. Don't worry. Chris pointing out this isn't a cake. It's a thicker, firmer consistency. That is true. <laughs> 425. Don't freelance the recipe. Do what it says. Aaron yeah. says 325. I don't know, you guys. You know, Chris might be right. We should probably do what it says on the package. Probably. Brittany says when I made scones, it was at 350. Oh, but was it from a mix from England? I'm doing it. I think she sent us two of these. So if we screw it up, we can do it again another time. Well, we can do it again right now. You know there's still another step to this. We don't just mix it and go. No. I've got to roll it out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, don't take that. I need that. Is that your... Uh... That's my instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Chris might be right. False. Chris is all... No, Chris is not always right. Uh, Afriel says, I've done bread at 425 before, and this is more bready, so let's do, we're doing okay. 425. Let's do it. Okay, so we need 10 tablespoons of semi-skimmed milk. We also don't have that phrase here, but I have 1% milk fat milk. We're doing that. Fuck. Can you stop swearing about hockey? Sorry. I'm trying to do a show here. Sorry. Um, super thankful, was it? Was it Melissa who sent us this, Dan? Do you remember? Yes, it was. Um, super thankful. I don't know if she's here tonight, but is. this is awesome. I didn't want to measure out 10 tablespoons, but then I remembered that I have this uh, shot glass measuring cup. 
that will measure my 10 tablespoons of milk. So I did not have to convert or pour 10 tablespoons into single little tablespoons. So thank you for that, Melissa. Sorry, I'm sure nobody heard my F-bomb. Oh, everybody heard your F-bomb. You're standing like right next to the microphone. Lily CK says gas mark seven is 425. Okay, we're going with it. I'm confident this is what we are supposed to be doing. It still seems hot, but not unrealistic hot. American scones are different from British scones. Follow the recipe. Yes, I will follow the recipe. I will do as I am told. Okay. Knead the mixture very lightly to form a soft, smooth dough. I'm not kneading this with my hands because it's uh, wet. So I'm just going to rubber spatula it and see what happens. Mooch is very interested. His head's hanging over the edge. <laughs> Melissa is here. Hello, Melissa. And thank you for my uh, anchor hawking measuring whatever it is. Not a, it's not a measuring cup. It's glass. Measuring glass. Whatever it is. I appreciate it. That's actually, I use that a lot. I can't stop eating these like puff things. This is why I'm trying to <laughs> it's so good. Cocoa puffs. I tried to look for them at the store and I couldn't find them. But I looked for more at the store the other day. I want the cinnamon toast crunch ones. We have to find those. Okay. Okay, so this is this is becoming a dough. Yay! Is it dough? How long does this cook for? Twelve to fifteen. Okay, so we'll have some intermission time. Yes. Okay, cool. Can you get rid of this for me, please? Okay. Hold on, I'm eating my popcorn. <laughs> when your hands are empty of popcorn. Oh man. Me, not helping, Dan. Whoa. Not helping. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I left the orbit. Um, I'm gonna need you to get my rolling pin too, if you can, please. Okay, and maybe I'm gonna roll it out. Can I get some tape? That way, I don't have to hold you. Have you hold the uh? the paper down on the counter. Just like scotch tape. How about this one? Because I won't hurt her. Sure. Is this a hassle? The scotch tape would have been fine. I have scissors. I don't need no stinking scissors. Like, ruining something in the beginning just throws off all my confidence for the rest of the show. Ever? No, just what for the rest I, of the show. Then what if I end the stream and start to stream again? <laughs> like it's a If we show. make a different recipe. Completely different. Let's start over with something else. Uh, Just T with a super chat. Hey, okay. Dan. Yes, yes, yes. Did you hear about the disappearing breakfast? Uh, no, tell me about the disappearing breakfast. One minute was there. The next, scone. <laughs> there's actually scone jokes? <laughs> Apparently there's oh a scone gosh. joke. Thank you so much. Bump, bump. <laughs> <laughs> Those scissors look like lawn shears. Only because they're so like close to the camera. Look at... Oh, now they're tiny. Now you're a big head. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> the big head. Okay. There's a glare. Roll out the dough on a floured surface to approximately two centimeters thick. Hey, Dan. How much is two centimeters? Like, like that? You know, it'd be a lot easier if we just did what the rest of the damn world does. We make ourselves look ignorant. I have millimeters. I need centimeters. How many millimeters are in a centimeter? I think three is an inch. Roughly three. Oh, that's thick. Okay. But these are millimeters, not centimeters. No, no, no. The little lines are millimeters. And then the, the numbers are centimeters. By the way, this ruler is like, this was Jesus' ruler. It's from my childhood. This thing. 
You always say the things from my childhood Look at belong that. to Jesus. Look, or my Laura parents Ingalls. just bought high quality things that lasted. These are the ones that we all had. I know everybody in the chat's going to remember these things. We bought new ones at work because I couldn't find just a plain old regular ruler. They're all these weird triangle engineer rulers. Oh yeah, like, like that little like triangle one. Look, there's the pain in the ass to use. I just needed a regular one. So I made my mom buy me one for work. Mm. And uh, they're weird when they're new. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Is like, it wooden like this? It is, but it's it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels weird. Like yeah, it, it should be though. old if it's a wood ruler. Yeah, just under an inch crystal. Also, an uh, antique ruler. Yes, it is. Well, <laughs> ten millimeters is one centimeter. Thank you. And we want it at. Must have been absent from school that day. Two centimeters. Okay, yeah. So. How my hands are filthy. Hold on. I'm having a lot of fun trying new recipes, but some of the new recipes, like 10 minutes in, I'm like, why did I do this? I don't want to do this at all. And it says this is supposed to make eight of them, so. Can I have that ruler, please? I'm really bad with measurements. I have no idea if this is an inch or a half an inch or. That's like, not even a, how am I supposed to get eight if it's two centimeters? I don't know, but I'm having a good time. I'm having a good Two time centimeters watching. is up to here. It can't be that thick and make eight of them. This is false. You better make it enough. False advertising. Like, look, even at this, I'm lucky to get four and maybe have enough for a fifth. Do we need one or two? We only need, like, we only need one for each of us, you, me, and Blake. Fair. But it's supposed to make eight is the thing. It says serves eight. It makes eight. I don't know how to read your nutritional value, but it says it makes eight. Why did I do this? What do you think? It's I, it's clearly not two centimeters. It's, Look, I feel like it's thick. Right, but two centimeters would be where my nail is here. Uh, I'm going for it. F it. Let me get a pan out. Yeah, maybe do we do smaller circles? No, it said two and a half. It's, it specifies two and a half inch. Okay. A two and a half inch cutter, six centimeters. Is that six centimeters? It is. I measured before the show. Oh, nice. Let me get my big one out. I like my big one. I'm excited for this. Are you? Yeah. Well, I'm glad somebody is. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I want to know what it tastes like. Like dough. Remember, dough is never good, Dan. I know where to put that. Want me to hold it for you? I can hold it. Oh, no, it's fine. It didn't taste like anything. Uh, Amanda says, looks like it is 350 for oven temp in research on Google. Oh, friend, don't confuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> Unsend. <laughs> Unsend. <laughs> <laughs> but look. Here's the thing. They said that gas mark seven is 425. 220 Celsius translates to 428 Fahrenheit. Okay. Are you looking at a specific recipe that cooks at 350? I, this, I think you're gonna have to do the bag. I'm, do I'm doing with the bag. I, I have another bag. If this doesn't work, I can do it again. Okay, smush them out. Do they make any sound effects? <laughs> Why is it always smashing out? With it? It's always squish is bad. I should have put flour on my cutter. One. Uh, uh. You need flour in like a puff bottle, so you can just like, <laughs> just like puff, you it. Just puff flour it. Flour puffs plenty all by itself. It does not need help. <laughs> well, this is really successful, but I'm making it work. What else is going on in the chat, Dan? Uh, I see that's what he said, punchline. Um, why is it always about the size, Chris says? <laughs> Two! Uh, uh, uh. All right, so, so far so good, right? I think so. It looks biscuity, right? Yeah, yeah, that looks good. 
I ate a little bit right now of more of that batter. It's actually good. Is it? It's sweet. No way. Things from England aren't sweet. Yeah, it's it's sweet. You actually should try a tiny bit. Four. <laughs> you should definitely break off a little piece. I think I feel like you're tricking me. That's a good size. No. Oh, oh more than that. It's good. I wouldn't call that sweet. But it's not bad. I'm not mad at it. That makes me a little more confident that they're going to taste good in the end. I should have reflowered this, damn it. Five. <laughs> All right. Oh, I hate flowering and rolling and doing. Those my tea? <laughs> no, I have some. Thank you. Uh, Cyber Husky would like to thank all of the RFS fam Hi, who Cyber showed Husky. her some support on her IG this week. She posted about Gilly having a particularly bad seizure on Monday. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. Look, I don't check it regularly throughout the day and algorithms I'm, screw up and I miss entire posts. I'm a good friend. I know all about it. Well, you're also at home and can check it anytime you want. Um, she says, I love all of you and he's feeling so much better now. I'm so glad to hear that. Good. That's awesome. He is a, he is a cute dog. I hope that he, uh, is okay just like overall in general we've been playing splendor a lot in yeah. fact we started the board game olympic cyber husky <laughs> we're now like we're gonna keep track of who wins no matter what game we play and at the end of the year we'll have to see like who's the winner guesses on who's in the lead <laughs> well we just started it last night did you win did you win i won everything last night <laughs> we played sagrada and uh we played the other game what was it called uh splendor splendor we played Splendor, but Crystal won both? I did. You won both of them, huh? I did. Yeah, it's not easy to be it's not easy to be Crystal when she figures it out. I'm pretty good but strategically. We're getting ruthless now. Like no more playing nice. It was like ruthless board gaming. Six uh, 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 I'm gonna cram a seventh one in here. Are you Okay, so we're almost to eight. That one was a little bit thicker than the other ones. <laughs> Crystal, are you trying to be the Count Von Count from Sesame Street? I think she used to date him or something, because she always seen him in his praises. I kind of like him. <laughs> I like how he counts. <laughs> Do you like the size of his numbers? <laughs> <laughs> After a while, they were, they were big. You got this. Uh, Hannah said, Crystal, Danny the dough. Sounds about right. It's good. Sounds about Dan. Seven. Uh, uh, uh. Can I get an eighth one out of this little bit? You can do it, or you can make a tiny one. I'll eat it, because... Oh, nice. Reverse. <laughs> Reverse mold. Good job. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, that, yeah, I'm excited again. It's me. It's me in the cam in the camera, just for memories. <laughs> <laughs> for memories. <laughs> what? <laughs> American scones are dry ASF. Uh, British <laughs> as scones <F>. as <laughs> F. Oops. <laughs> British scones are delicious. We'll figure it out now. Yeah, like I said, I tried to make them from scratch, and I was not impressed at all, and could not figure out why people like them so much. But maybe. The recipe I used was bad. I don't know. I only did it once because if I try something once and it's gross, I usually don't try it again. So are we up to hang out time in just a second here? Put it um, in a minute, but there's another step to this I want to do, so hold oh, on. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that is. So. No, you do not. I just wanted to get this mess cleaned up first. Oh, careful because the flour is going to fling off. Dan. Right. Oh no, there's a puppy. There's a puppy mess. There you go. I got this. I'm good at cleaning up your messes, Dan. I had lots of practice. Here. Thank you. What's the next step? I, I'm curious now because like, right, to me so it looks like they got to go in the oven. It says place on the baking sheet for more golden brown scones glaze with milk or a beaten egg. 
Ooh. Remember how when we did like the puff pastry things? What were you eating earlier that's in the corner of your mouth? Dough. <laughs> it was black. <laughs> I don't know. I was eating the end of trail mix. I was like, I felt like a bird. I was just eating all the like nuts and stuff. <laughs> wait, no, 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 wait. That's from the trail mix. You said it. You gotta beat the egg. Okay, watch out. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to do a show here. Not separating it. Cracking it with one hand, though. You like that? That's yeah. a skill. That's a boss move. You know who does that? Walker, Kate Texas. Boss? Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> Shut your mouth. The tiny whiskers. He doesn't. Isn't he Chuck Norris? Uh huh. No, he just puts the whole egg in his mouth and chews it up. Oh, probably. All right, so we're gonna whip it. Whip it good. And we're just gonna brush this on. Is your brush in the drawer? Uh huh. Yeah, I did all the dishes today. Look at you go. I did some laundry. Nice. And I and I put the after it buzzed, I took the clothes out and hung them up. That's impressive because I had to get a towel out of the dryer this morning. Yes, the towel's not. <laughs> but the load before, when it went, I actually made myself get up and go get the stuff out of the dryer and fold all the clothes right then and there. Nice. I, I didn't go back that. and set it to 20 more minutes. I didn't forget about it. It really uh, it really helps you feel better about yourself on laundry day if you just force yourself to get up and do it and then it's done. Then I put the towels in there and forgot all about it. So there's towels but, in there now is what you're telling me. No, no, nothing's in there now. Because then this morning... Oh, I did, yesterday. That was throw, yesterday. Yes. Yesterday. But I did actually get up when it buzzed. That's, well, good job. Right. Way to be an adult, Dan. All right, so I'm just brushing uh, a lightly beaten egg across the top and the sides of this just to help it brown up a little bit. You remember when we did the puff pastry and stuff, Dan, and we brushed it with egg or butter or something? Yeah. Just helps it, like, brown up and crisp up a little bit. But we don't need to do the bottom, right, because it's on the thing. Yeah, we should be fine there. Uh, Jess is here. Woohoo, I made it. What is up, friend? We are about to put our scones in the oven. You missed our clotted cream fail. You didn't miss it. <laughs> Did you win at uh, Catan? I see some member super chats there, Dan. Can uh, you read those? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, member super chat from PJ. Thank you so much. Uh, states I was in today. Vermont. <laughs> New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Michigan. Wow. This Great Lakes guy turned New Englander, excuse me, this Great Lakes guy turned New Englander is home for nine days. New Englander? Yep, hashtag <laughs> Michigan, Michigan, and again, let's get baked, <laughs> fire, oh, explanation point. Thanks, PJ. Nice. Dang, that's a nice little travel day. It's so weird to me that you can go through so many states in one day. Uh, Jess with the 22 member su month member super chat or uh, super chat thing. What's it called? What's the green box? Mem is member called? chat. Member chat. Thank you so much. Happy Friday, friends! Yay! Okay, guys. 4:25. We're doing it. 4:25 for 12 to 15 minutes. We're gonna start with 12 and check them and see how they look. One of them is much much thinner, so I'm gonna turn that to the front so I can pop it out a bit overcooked. Hannah says, I asked Dad today if I could order a gun at the store about coloring book. He said, yes, it should be here before the coloring night. Awesome. Yay! Jess, if you have a link to the coloring book, maybe you can throw it in the chat here. Jess says, oh, no, did it fail? Yeah, the clotted cream didn't come out the way we thought it would It didn't out. clot. It was kind of gross. I tried to see if I could fix it. It I tasted looked, fine. I looked at a bunch of different recipes, and they all seemed to be pretty much the same. They varied between, between 10 to 12 hours in the oven. We ended up at 14 hours in the oven at 180 degrees, and... It's still pretty much slightly thicker heavy cream with some chunky bits in it. We're not doing it. But we made some mock clotted cream. I will pull that out in 12 to 15 minutes, and we will put that on our scones along with some jam. I've got cherry preserves, strawberry brandied apricot jam, and cranberry bourbon jalapeno jam that I can't remember who sent this, but somebody sent this and you really liked it. Can you remember? Who sent this to me? Yeah, uh, amazing. Yeah. Was that from Abby? Yeah. Well, yeah. What's it? What's it from? In the what's it? What's it from? Sunflower Farm in Connecticut. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I pulled that one out for you to try. I don't know that I'm gonna be super down for that. I am. Um, I'm excited for some strawberry brandied apricot jam. I don't think I've opened that yet. Um. Yes. We have lots of jams in there. 
We do. What about, do we have like an app? We have like an We do have apple. There's uh, Blake's apple jam in there. Uh, did you know that you can heat frosting in the microwave for 15 seconds, then another 15 seconds to be able to pour over your cake? It was way too hard to knife on the cake as the cake would tear. I have heard that and seen it in videos. I've never tried it. Did it work for you? Were you happy with it? Let me know what your results were. Do you want apple butter? Not apple butter. That's different. Apple butter goes on toast. Yeah, you know what? I don't think this spiced banana jam goes on it as well. I we need red. We need, we need red. I thought red was going to be the way to go. We do have the um, apple jam if you want to try apple. No, I don't. I think I'm going to, I think I want this jalapeno one. I've derailed it all. I've derailed it all. I have, um, this is all you because it's got chunks in it that I don't like. There's also a peach blueberry orange sangria. It's good flavor, but it's the chunkiness I can't deal with. Okay, I'll try it So out. maybe you'll like that. So, um, is the strappleberry stuff I sent still around? No, that's long gone. <laughs> that is long gone. That was good stuff. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so one other thing that I saw is despite the fact that you see in the, the pictures, like what we use for the thumbnail and many other pictures on the internet, um, the layers, like it's made like a sandwich. I read that the proper way to eat a scone is to tear a chunk off and put the stuff on it, the jam and the stuff, and then put it in your mouth. But look at the picture. That's that's what I started with. Despite the fact that that's what the picture shows, apparently that is not the way you're supposed to eat it. If you want to do it proper. Uh, Wilderman Life says, I bet apple butter would be good on them, though. Man, apple butter, I only like it on toast. So I don't know. Let's Once they come out and we taste them, we'll see. We'll see what, what I think. Maybe we'll try it. I don't know. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, did Uncle Yukon tell me, did it work for you? I need information. Did you melt your frosting and pour it on your cake? And how did it turn out? Do we want to get Blake out here? I, I texted him. Okay. You guys, we found it. Dan found it. Starlight limited edition Coca-Cola. Possibly marshmallow flavored. Possibly not. Uh, <laughs> Brittany, yes, I can see your chats. Um... I'm interested to see if it tastes like marshmallow to me or not. Because there's there's debate. Some people say no. Some people say yes. Some people say, I see how you can say that, but I don't really taste it. Oh, since it's RFS crystal now, uh, you can go ahead and open it. It actually says that it's space flavored. Is Blake coming? I don't know what tastes... Missing I don't know out. what space tastes like, but when the space shuttle would land at work, uh, when I worked at NASA, um, it would land, and you'd go over there and you'd get to like take pictures with the space shuttle and stuff like when it was on there. Um, space smells like burnt toast. Like, it smells like burnt. And I know it's coming from, from the atmosphere, you know, because it is. So maybe this will taste like, so like burnt. Maybe that's so that marshmallow flavor. I don't know what space tastes like, but the space shuttle smelled like burnt, if that makes sense. I'm always scared when I open carbonated things that it's going to explode, because I don't often open carbonated things. <laughs> Kaboom! Kablamo. Is it Kaboom or Kablamo? <laughs> Either way. Oh, it just smells like soda. It smells like a cola. Don't smell it, drink it. It's not a, <laughs> I got a whiff of it before right when a, I opened it. It's not right, a Blake. sniff whiffer. We got Starlight Limited Edition Coca-Cola, which claims to be space flavored. So they stay burnt steak? <laughs> space tastes like burnt, it it smells smells like like burnt steak? Yeah. Pass it on before you give your review. I have my answer. What do you think? Cherry soda. Tastes like the box of circus animal crackers. You know those brown ones that are like unflavored, like almost like the teething biscuits? It tastes like animal crackers. The box of circus animal crackers. No, it tastes kind of like cherry. Yeah, I don't drink soda, especially colas. And it, it just has a slight cherry flavor to it to me. I don't animal, taste marshmallow at animal, all. Animal crackers. Animal crackers. That's my final answer. Uh, Jess, he says uh, she thinks it tasted like gingerbread or snickerdoodle, a Christmas time only treat. Okay, that's kind of like animal crackers. Uh, Elisa says she saw it today and was wondering what it is. Uh, <laughs> Jess says, yes, that's the candy flavor. <laughs> Cook with May says it tastes like berry or something to me. I, I, yeah, I it's just like a cherry. I don't thing. taste anything that anybody says except for somebody said it tasted like Christmas time cookie, whatever thing. I could taste that because it tastes yeah. it, it to me it tastes like animal crackers. No, I do want more though. It's, oh, you know what it. though? It's good. It, it's a cola. I don't like colas, and it, it's nothing special to me. Uh, hey Blake, 
I think Manda's I'm gonna here. Drink she it. says, "Hey, party people! Is Crystal drunk yet?" Also, hi, Blake. Hello. You haven't seen Manda in like forever. Blake looks like he hasn't seen the light in forever. Right? Right? Did you just climb out of bed no, to get something here? Something's in my eye. It's your hair. Some, well, something's <laughs> in my eye and then a bug flew. Did you leave the Gran Turismo alone enough to come in here? No, I was. I saw from a little bit ago. Uh, to answer your question, Nanda, no, I'm not drunk yet. I have been drinking a while. It's been a minute. Um, Uncle Yukon says yes. Heating the frosting worked great. Almost liquid and poured great but not so runny that it poured over the sides. Some over the side in places, but not really that much. I'll have to try that sometimes. I hate frosting cakes. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me let me help you out here, because we've, we've got to color code it. <laughs> Nana says, boo. Don't worry, we're supposed to hang out in a few weeks, and I will drink with you, friend. Okay, do you want to try all of them, or are there any that are a hard no for you? No hard no, you got to try okay. them. Okay, we're going to start you off with horchata. It is all downhill from here. <laughs> Does that taste like Christmas? Tastes like cinnamon. Okay, right. Churro. Oh, you're just getting all the good ones out of the way first, aren't you? Like, there's yeah. This no, is this is how no we ate them. Halftime show. This is the order in which we ate them. Disappointing, huh? Well, like, just like anything, really. Yeah, it's just kind of bland. Yeah. Margarita. I might love margaritas. <laughs> Your favorite. Uh, Blake, do we do we read that? What did Blake think it tasted like? The Coke. What did you say it tasted like? Cherry Coke. Just like cherry Coke? It was a little bit different cherry Coke. Huh? Um, it's kind of like lime. Yeah. Margarita's kind of limey. Okay. Salsa. Ew. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was my reaction. Kind of almost garlicky, huh? Tastes like salsa, though. Right? I guess I nailed the flavor. Guacamole. Do you need a palate cleanser? <laughs> I'm, so sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm still trying to... Shannon says it tasted like toasted marshmallow jelly bellies to her. I did not That's get gross. a marshmallow taste at all. What do you think of the guac? Gross. It doesn't taste like guacamole. I um, get a little bit of taste. It tastes better than the salsa one, though. It does, but still gross, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Beef taco. Oh my god, stuff on top of now. <laughs> it lives there now. Uh, Jess T, these are the taco truck. Sorry, I guess I should have introduced what we were doing. Uh, taco truck jelly beans uh, sent to no. us by Melissa because she hates us. <laughs> <laughs> we tried these. Dan and I tried these on the live last Wednesday. Not this past one, but the one before. That's gross. That one's Jeez, can you keep it down? We're trying to do a show here. Yeah, that was gross. All right, now do beef taco, guacamole, and salsa, and tell me if it tastes like a taco. I'm going to spit this out. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> Which one was that one? Um, was that beef taco? I gave him the, the taco, the guacamole, and the salsa together, so it was like he was eating a taco, he and <laughs> apparently he needs to wash his he's mouth made out. made it to the sink. That's the only one. That's that out of all of them is the only what, thing. What, what was that again? Taco? No, the taco, the salsa, yeah. and the guac. Was that gross? It's disgusting. That was disgusting. <laughs> that, was worse, that was worse than any of them come to get it's like by themselves. How about this? Uh, do, you want, are you, do you want one more? My Life So Far vlog yes, says, love jelly gross. beans, but not a fan of taco-flavored food. No, those were disgusting. We knew they were going to be disgusting. There was no anticipation that they were going to be good at all. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. So get one of each flavor or of each color variety out. I bought so far vlog said, Woo, I get to watch tonight because I got caught in a snowstorm and had to stop early. Oh, well, I'm glad you got to stop. Be safe out there when you do have to get back at it. What? Adrian's here. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, How are you, dude? friend? Hope hey, you're doing yeah. well. He says, What? I actually made it to a stream, right? Okay, so. That's not all of them. This one is only just four flavors. N no. And then there's apple pie and coffee. Oh. Here's the thing they're like like a green so bean similarly colored candy. We had a really hard time with this because they're so similar. Is it going to be this color with a different base? No. I think that's the same as that. It, it's the same, like, one of these. It's like, it looks like Those that, but different. different. One says yellow. One yeah, says these two are different, but then the, the last one we're missing, I think it's that because that's darker than this, right? It's more this color. Mm -hmm. They look like arrowheads. Okay, so... We don't actually know which is which here. I think that one with the yellow was the apple pie. Um, Dad could not tell the difference between turkey and stuffing, and I refused to try those. Huh. 
So what are you gonna try first? So yeah. if you guys, hang on, before you do, uh, these are the Thanksgiving dinner, these are literally from Thanksgiving, but we never tried them. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner candy corn. There's apple pie, coffee, green beans, roasted turkey, cranberry sauce, and stuffing. Going cranberry sauce first? That's what I did. Do you eat cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving? Do you like cranberry juice? Mm, sometimes. Does that taste like anything but a wax melt to you? What? Does it taste like you're eating wax melt? Mm -hmm. It's really waxy, huh? That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Candy corn just is waxy, though. No, but it this this flavor in particular tasted really waxy to me. It was not like there wasn't much of a cranberry taste to it. It was just slightly fruity tasting wax. Hold on. Oh, we're stony. I think we're probably good because it looked like they're starting to burn a little. All right, can I come this way? Let there be scones. All right, let's let them cool while you finish these and then we'll punch on these. Are you working your way up to being able to eat a green bean? Mama's waiting for you to be done. Go ahead. So now I have the green bean flavor. That's gonna be disgusting. I like that you're not even committing to eating the whole thing. <laughs> Just going for halves? But you, but these ones like they're two halves. Like you're missing half the flavor. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not missing anything so far. What do we think this one is? Coffee? I think the dark one was the coffee one. Amala, so far, welcome to the RFS fam. Yeah. That tasted very much like coffee. Very much. They nailed that flavor. Wow, they really did. You now have access to uh, members' first vlogs as soon as they go up. Your name will be green when you chat and... You get access to the special emojis in the chat as well. You can put Blake's big dumb head in there if you want. My big dumb head? Why gotta be dumb? Look at it. When Dang. they put it in the chat. Dang. <laughs> it looks, come I'm on. My, I'm gonna say my things and leave. <laughs> right? What is this one? Look, you're telling me that doesn't look dumb? No. <laughs> it does. Oh, <laughs> and Steve is here. Hello, hello. What's up, dude? Okay, so these are the ones we weren't sure. Roasted turkey. Stuffing and apple pie. I think that one's the apple pie. Has anybody tried the Guinness coffee beer? I have not. It tastes like nothing. And I love Guinness, but I have not tried the coffee beer. I feel like you're just trying to get through this. <laughs> like, we're not getting hardly any commentary. You're just like, yep. That gross. tastes like nothing. Gross. That one's like, that's gross. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> that's a turkey. <laughs> is, it, is that pretty gross? Yeah. Do you think? Uh, do you think at any time they thought, man, people are gonna really pick those turkey ones out of there? Blake, everybody. No. <laughs> Nobody ever thought that they were gonna pick that out of there. No. No one ever's gonna read even buy a same bag of these. No one's gonna. Be, is he even gonna finish the bag? Does anybody finish the bag? No. I was also gonna say no. Hey, wait, we got scones, Blake. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I will say this is the first time anything's looked this burned on a silpat. Okay. I'm a little disappointed by that. I don't think it's burned, burned, but nothing's ever come out that over. like mm -hmm. overcooked. Okay. Did we go too hot then? I mean, the top of them looks amazing. They do. I need to cut one in How half. How do you know that the insides are cooked? Like, did you, that's. Is there like a thermometer for that where you could stick it in there and? No. See? Um, I was doing the cupcake thing where you poke it and it pops back up and it looks okay. So let me slice one. In half here. Uh, it is still a little doughy. Okay. I think I should put it in for another couple minutes. Do you want to check out the situation? That is a little doughy. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of doughy. Okay. But we don't want to put them back in there, though. I mean, I don't want to eat a doughy scone. They're not done yet. Like two no, minutes at most. Yet. Why are you dipping out? You can come back. Are your friends waiting for you? No, I just. Did you You're just done with us? Did you see that video I sent you where it showed the TCA All right, all right. We're going to count up and see how this goes. Uh, looks done. Maybe it needs to say it does look done on the top. I want to eat them while they're warm, so I don't want to let them sit for too long, but it's a little mushy inside. I lost the mouse, so I don't know what else happened up there. Bunch of Blake heads. 
So if you guys have not heard, and I think most of you have, but uh, my life so far, you haven't been here in a while. So let me let you know. I see that you just joined the uh, RFS fam tier of membership. Thank you so much for that. We really do appreciate that. We have now added a second tier. If you guys have not heard, for about 10 bucks a month, you guys can move on up to that second tier. That gets you access to um, all the Dan TV stuff. It's now behind a paywall, guys. I know some of you guys... Um, watched those already wherever else Dan had them. I don't know because he's gone right now, but you get access to that and the new special, not a podcast, audio recording in the house that Dan and I have been recording. You can listen to us talk about uh, everything and nothing. That's at the $10 tier um, RFS fam membership. I don't know if you have a no, we... button for that. Oh yeah, sorry. I was talking about the new Gran Turismo game. There it is. The link uh, is beer Bucks says, maybe if you let them sit, residual heat will finish them. I'm going to give them just like, look, it's, it's been about a minute, so I'm going to take them out now. I just wanted to give them a little bit longer just to see if I can get that, that doughiness to kind of go away. It was pretty doughy. All right, all right. We're calling it. Uh, sounds like a podcast, to be honest. That's what I tried to tell him, Steve, but he swears it's not a podcast because he already has a podcast, and apparently you can't have two podcasts. It's an audio recording, not a podcast. Don't ask me what the difference is, and don't ask Dan either because he can't tell you. I just explained it right now. It's an audio recording. What makes it not a podcast? A, pod a podcast is also an audio the recording. The fact that it's an audio recording. Podcasts are also audio recordings. Huh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, Steve. I'm with you. Who's checked out the podcast? I know um, a bunch of you listened to the first episode. Who's listened to both episodes in their entirety? Let me know what you think. Do you guys, are we doing good? You like it? We're going to do another one uh, next week. We should be recording, yes? Yeah. Yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Steve says my podcast is available as an audio recording. Exactly, exactly. All exactly. podcasts are audio recordings, but not all audio recordings are podcasts, apparently. But podcasts can be an audio recording. Yeah, says, is it a Kleenex versus tissue thing? Might be. I don't know. If it looks like a podcast, if it quacks like a podcast, I mean, it's either a duck or a podcast. Pretty much. Uh, Alicia says, I listen to both. I think they're fun to listen to. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad. I, I hope that we can entertain you guys. It's, it's a new thing for me. Are you ready? I'm ready. But uh, is the scone, like cool enough you tell me well could, will, the, will the stuff goo out of it uh it's... Brittany pointing out that you use the hashtag podcast on them so is it or is it not a podcast i did <laughs> now you don't even know what you're doing oh damn that's for the behind the scenes all right here's the deal before we can do anything okay, okay. you know what i have to do um I gotta see pictures, Dan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna cut one. I'm gonna uh, put jam and cream on it. I'm gonna take a photo, and then we can do whatever it is we wanna do. That does look a little better cooked now. That extra minute helped. This is nice and fluffy. I'm looking forward to some of this. I think the picture had jam first. We're doing jam first. I don't care. Um, Mark ha Marco has a very much. Oh, Marco is here. What is up? Slim. I was actually thinking that earlier. Like, I wonder why he's not here today. An actual slimmed down version of our podcast title. It's a digital audio file made available on the internet for downloading to a computer or mobile device. Typically available as a series, new installments of which can be received by subscribers. Yes. That's it. That not is a it. podcast. Yes, and not a podcast. <laughs> yes. I don't like the texture of this one for a photo. I think this one might be better. No, I can't do it. Thanks for loosening it. Yeah. This one's a little shinier. That one's uh, more matte than glossy. I'm excited. I really hope this is good, Dan. I put a lot of effort into this from a mix recipe. And I had to babysit your oven yesterday. Yeah, I'm disappointed that we put so much effort into that and then nothing came of it. Sorry. But thanks. Yeah, I'll give was... you credit for that, Dan. It was fun. I'd get up and walk over to it and then talk to it. and then. Did you whisper sweet nothings to it? Uh, no, I talked in normal voice. You didn't use your phone voice? No. No, I don't have a phone voice. We'll talk about that this next week on on <laughs> on the audio recording. On the not a podcast. On the not a podcast because we'll talk about we'll talk about Dan's phone etiquette. <laughs> yeah, or lack thereof. 
I don't know how much of this needs to be on there, but here we go. <laughs> Mooch is snoring. All right. Bear with me, guys. But you only have one made. It's my photo. Don't tell me how to photo. I, I want some of this. What is this? No, 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 no double dipping. Mmm, that's calorie. <laughs> I mean, it's just sugar and cream cheese. Wow, that was really good, Crystal. That was really good. That was like 100 calories right there. <laughs> Not one spoonful? You got this. You have to talk to the things. You gotta be like, yes, yeah, baby. You lots of awesome powers. That is not how I take a photo. Um, I gotta, I'm making my own shadow. So, are you? Dude, there you go. There you go. You see how the cone's working for the camera? There's too much background stuff. Yeah, that's. You're doing it. <laughs> You're doing it. I'm doing it. There's so much crumbs. Get off of there. This is messy. Oh my gosh. I have to hurry up. I need to eat these. Now I just want to take longer just to spite you, Dan. Dang. All right. All right. All right. Is it scony? I think so. I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah? Okay. What do you want? Do you want me to give you the, this is going to be messy if you bite into it everything's going to squirt out yeah the why, why like how what, what's going on with that okay this is why i think they told you to like tear a piece off i think like this is going to be the way to go that's fine and you can make it what like, jelly do you want oh i want some of that crazy jalapeno stuff but if you don't want to eat that big one you know i can do that as well oh i know a lot of jelly knives <laughs> getting down on this haven't you oh uh, yeah that jalapeno stuff's good oh no <laughs> oh no he's alive his nose is going to he's sniffing around it's hard i can't like smear it on there because there's already jelly on there all right here's a hundred more calories for you you want to come on over here i'm gonna take the top off of this one all right, time for the verdict. Uh-huh. I have no safety net. That's really good. That is really good. And I'm even eating the overhood bottom part. Oh, that's really good. It is really good. It's like... I want the fluffy top part, though. How much silverware can I use in one episode? I like the scone, the biscuity part. That part's really good too, but the problem is, is I've eaten the... It's structurally not sound in my hand anymore because I ate the bottom <laughs> off of it. Yes. But that's really good. I don't know what to do. This is like two bites, but it's going to fall apart in my mouth. In my, in my hand. Turn around and shove the whole thing in your mouth. But that's no fun. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Told you. I'm just done waiting. <laughs> that is really, 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 really good. I'm very impressed. I take back everything I said about scones. Mm -hmm. They're really good. I want less, like, I want less liquid on mine. Here you go. <laughs> that's the bottom is overcooked though that's good that's like a fun biscuit uh, Alex says yeah I'm glad they came out tasty I love British scones yeah these are really good this is not at all like the the dense unflavored nonsense I made okay Yes, I agree. This is fun. This is fun. more jelly on this. Do I tell Blake to, to come scone up? Yeah. I approve. Hmm? I approve. Yeah, that's good. 
good stuff. All right. The bottom's a little overcooked. Blake's here, everybody. There's no shameless way to eat a scone. Yeah, it's, it's going to be messy. I'm warning you. What kind of jelly do you want? We have cherry. We have cranberry bourbon jalapeno. Cherry. Huh? Cherry. You don't want any of the fancy options? No, nope. you said <laughs> You've got something with one flavor? Awesome. I'm in. There's strawberry brandied apricot. No, just jelly. Or just cherry. Whatever. I forget what flavor that was, actually. Cherry. Cherry. Well, cherry, cherry was good. That's what I had on it. I like cherry. Me too. Hold on. I gotta get you some fluffy bits. Fluffy bits? Is that what dad was feeding to the cat? Yes. Uh, uh, not, like no, 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 no. This was <laughs> this was the the one I made after. This was the the one made out of cream cheese, which is really good, by the way. I recommend this. I cannot attest to the the validity of. You might want to eat it over something because it's kind of crumbly. Like over you? Uh, please no. Is Even it? though you are tall enough to eat things over me. <laughs> Cyber Husky said, "Is it cake toast, Dan?" <laughs> cake. All right. It's not That's quite cool. cake toast because it's not a cookie, but it kind of is. It's really good, though, Cyber Husky. Can you crouch down a little bit so people can see you? You're cut off. <laughs> hey, look, you're my size. Oh, you can just stand back. Like, if you stood back like a step, <laughs> you don't then, have to. I just then, you fit, time. then you fit in the screen. Am I, am I catching you in height yet? What no. do you think? I think it tastes, like, it tastes like I just took a roll and put some uh, whipped cream on top. <laughs> yeah? Are you not impressed? It tastes fine. I don't like the texture of the... like the if, biscuit if stuff? Think, if it's because I'm eating a biscuit. Right. Not, like, that's like, you know, you're, like, like the restaurant's biscuit. Yeah, go for it. Like. It is biscuity, but it does have some sweetness to it. Or like. It tastes some fine. Flavor to but it. it's the texture that I don't like. I get, it's like my, I'm biting into it. My brain is like, you're biting into a. A KFC buttermilk yeah. biscuit? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I like it doesn't fall apart. Well, Uncle Yukon says, hey, approve my cake picture. I got you. <laughs> uh, PJ says, that don't impress Blake much. Oh, I don't know the tune no. of that song, but I know which song you're talking about. That was good. That was a little Shania of you there. I tried. Uh, you were just, fine? Yeah. I don't want the consistency of the bread. That's fair. Would you eat it again? Yeah. Okay, but not a huge fan. Wait, mm -hmm. wait. How many Blakes out of five? 3.75. 3.75, you guys. That is not bad at all. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Here is Uncle Yukon's first ever baking of a cake. Lemon from a box. Can we get a camera over here, Dan? Thank you so much. Ooh, and the cherries. And cherries. Mm -hmm. It looks blown out because the camera. You guys can go to uh, the Getting yes Getting Baked with Crystal Facebook group. That's where he posted it at so you can see it uh, in, in real color. Looks like you already dug into it. Looks amazing. I want a bite. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, Steve, of course, much like a vegan, cannot go a day without telling you that they're vegan. A Canadian... Um, wait, wait. A Canadian also has to point out when somebody else is uh, Canadian, but apparently can't even spell Canadian. How much have you had to drink tonight, friend? How much, how much Delta 8 have you had? Is that going around now? Is that what all the cool kids are doing? I don't know. <laughs> but that's not how you spell Canadian. <laughs> Sorry, gotta give you a hard time. Uncle Yukon, that looks amazing. Um, good job. I'm impressed. You made a cake. Hooray. Cyber Husky says, I've had scones. They're all right. A bit too dry for me. I agree. When I've had scones, I've not liked them. These are not as dry. These are definitely, like Alex said, they're not as dry as, like, typical what American do we, scones. What do we do with the 10 pounds of that? <laughs> eat it on everything we're making pancakes for breakfast tomorrow we're putting mock clotted cream on our pancakes that's right would oh. you like another one uh no because i had like almost two almost two yeah because i think i ate the chunks off you're going for it though well because i only ate the top because i don't want the bottom it's extra crispy and i'm not a fan what time is it we're good we're good Mooch is trying really hard to get in on this action. He doesn't even want the jelly. He doesn't know it, but he does not want jelly. He just wants the cream. Um, I don't know what else you could use this cream for, but if you could think of a use, it tastes really good, and I would recommend it. What else is going on? Most Americans have only had the dry hard scones. In England, they are softer and taste nicer. Also, we say it like bon. Oh, okay. Scone? Scone. Michael I've never heard it said like that. Michael Scone. 
I hate when I learn that something is pronounced a different way than the way like it's said in America. Um, like able skeevers, and then I learn that it's actually able skewers. And now I have to say it like that every time. <laughs> like it's a question every your time. Your neck does this. Amel skewers. Look at what you out of your head. Because that's how they say it. I don't know. All right, scone. I'll try to remember that. But yeah, this this is different. This is not at all the same as what we have here in America. I I don't know why we make them the way we make them. Linda, are you still here? Did she make it to the end to get to see us eat them? Uh, and I did eat, eat the jalapeno jam. All of mine had jalapeno jam on it. It was good. I'm down for that stuff. Or I think it bit. did. Yeah, it did, because then you put them on the thing. Uh, no, Hannah, you're never going to live down the Delta 8 or the 4 Loco. The RFS fam is all about inside jokes, and we will never let you live any of them yeah, down. Yeah, we don't, we don't forget. Never forget. Alicia, I will not try the jalapeno jam. I tried it when we got it. It's not terrible, but... It was, it's fun. I'm down for it. I'm down for that, and habanero jam was good, too. I remember I got a habanero jam in the mail once, and that was nice. That was. Linda is here. Yes, I'm here. Linda, thank you for opening my eyes to what a scone can be. What if it's about, all about the mix, and we're never going to be able to replicate it because the mix is from the UK? I'm sure that is probably the case. <laughs> is that why they're good? Uh-huh. Keep it up. Yeah, this is different. This is more like a... I know it's Blake good. said he's not a fan of the texture, but it doesn't have the same texture as like a KFC biscuit, which is what the ones I've had here have been. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. Sausage and eggs scones tomorrow morning. Yeah. And I get Uncle Danny. I love that. Uncle Danny. <laughs> it's my only title. Well, yeah. I guess I'm a dad, but that's my title. I love it. Um, mm. Yeah. Um, pan we have pancake bowl. We have scones now. We have maybe pancake mix on Sunday. Yes. Mm. No, the, the scone. It's scone. Scone. Oh my scones. god. Yeah, scone. There's only three left. Oh, they're, they're, they're going to be <laughs> and, scone. And these halves. They're going to be scone before the end of the night. That makes Jess T's uh, pun make much more sense. I was wondering why, like, but scone doesn't rhyme with gone. If you say it right, apparently it does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> much better. You're correct. Why didn't anybody point that out when we read it? Right. Uh, Jess says. I will have to go back and look at your clotted cream. I looked it up when you talked about it, and it made me want to make it, but 20 hours is a long time to wait. Friend, I wouldn't bother with that. <laughs> it didn't work. Maybe your oven's different. Maybe you have better luck. I don't know if anybody's ever made it like that. Anybody here has ever made it like that and had success. I would recommend this uh, cream cheese and sugar version. It's, it's good. This is much better. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I am. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna talk. Oh, I know. We're gonna. <laughs> we're all gonna just watch you chew, chew on cam. You can't run away. Yep. I eat on camera a lot now, apparently. Oh Thank yes, you. we do. How long did you chill it for? Overnight? But we left it. I okay. Don't know. Let, let me recap real quick. I'm not sure what happened. At 9:30ish yesterday morning, Dan put two cups of heavy cream in a nine by thirteen glass pan, just like the recipe said. And I did look at multiple recipes, and it was all pretty much the same. The only variation that I saw was um, some were 10 hours, some were 12, some was 10 to 12. And then towards the end, when I looked it up, some people said 180 to 200 degrees. So I did move it up to 200. Um, but we put it in at 180 at 930 in the morning. At 930 at night, and covered tightly with foil. We didn't mess with it. It went in there for 12 full hours. I pulled it out and looked at it. It was still liquidy. It did not look like it was supposed to. I pulled up some YouTube videos to look at people taking it out of the oven. Mine did not look like that at all. Mooch, down in front. Um, it was 9.30. I left it in for two more hours. I had to go to bed, and it had to cool before it could go in the fridge. So at 11.30, I took it out. So it was in the oven for 14 hours yesterday. Um, it sat on the counter for about an hour and a half, two hours. And then I got up out of bed and put it in the fridge at about 1.30 in the morning. And it sat in the fridge until... 6.30 tonight, or 6.15-ish. When we took it out, <laughs> there's cat hair in it now. It was not much different than what you see here. There's some chunks, but it did not get like a chunky layer. It did not get a thick consistency. It didn't do what it was supposed to do. I followed the instructions. I even went back and checked and made sure I followed the instructions right. I made sure I did the right temperature, the right time. I tried it. It tasted pretty, like, I could tell what it was going to be like. The taste was, I I can't confirm. 
Uh, Dan says the taste was fine, but it's supposed to be like this. When you look at the pictures, it's like a whipped consistency that it's supposed to be like. So I would recommend this. This was three ounces of cream cheese, three tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, and a cup of whipping cream. Uh, this is way, I would do this. way sweeter than that stuff over there. I would imagine so, because that's just heavy cream. This okay. has, and this has a couple tablespoons of sugar, uh, three tablespoons, I think it was. Yeah, three tablespoons, and then three ounces of cream cheese. This has good flavor to it. I would eat this on like pretty much anything. I'm ready to like hurry up and put this in the fridge so it doesn't okay. get, go bad. <laughs> Jess says, yeah, maybe I won't bother to try it. I, I'm not going to say don't. It might be good, but I wouldn't bother with it. The only thing I saw was to make sure not to use um, ultra pasteurized uh, cream. Heavy cream. Yes, I did see that as well. So we were good on all fronts. Everything was what it was supposed to be. It didn't work. I don't know. Yeah, the cream cheese mix sounds oh, better. It is. The cream cheese mix makes it so, like, it's time to make some scones. And then, like, by the time they're done, like, cooking, like, you're ready to go. Yeah, you have to soften your cream cheese. But, right. yeah, overall, like, it's, I, it's a quick thing. Yeah. Uh, Alec is guessing that the whey separated. I don't even know enough about it to know if that's what happened. I. You might be right. Uh, Nancy says, I googled where to buy clotted cream and it said Walmart and Whole Foods. We don't have a Whole Foods out here. The closest one's like 45 minutes away. We do have a Walmart. We do have a Walmart, but um, I looked it up and didn't see that it was in stock here. So, at, you know, at I some point, sure I, I would it. love to acquire a taste of, of clotted cheese real, just, real clotted cream. just to see what it what it's all about. I am going down to Santa Clarita next weekend, so maybe I can see if I can find some. Maybe I can go to Whole Foods. I'm sure we will go to the restaurant right by there that we always go to. Whole Foods is fun. It's expensive. I like to go there and learn other things I can make. Like, oh, you sell a $5 square of Carmelitas? I bet I can make that. <laughs> That's how I learned how to make Carmelitas. Because I will not pay $5 for one little cookie. Um, there was more chats going on up here. Uh, Linda said there must be somewhere that sells clotted cream. Yeah, it's just not a popular thing, so... Uh, we have like, you know, the international aisle, but there's not a whole lot going on there. So I don't know. Okay, get that in the fridge. All right, guys. So the verdict is don't make clotted cream out of heavy cream. Is that the verdict? Is that the that's, takeaway? That's my ver verdict. I would not try that again. Uh, Hannah says, I thought about trying to make it, but after watching tonight, hard pass. Yeah, I would be interested to see um, if there is a scone recipe that replicates this kind of flavor and, and texture, because everything I've ever had out here is just, it's hard. It's hard and dense, like, not even like bagel -y, like like literally KFC biscuit. Right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so... Let me know if you guys have a good scone recipe. Maybe I'll try to make actual scones from scratch sometime, but this mix is a way this to do it. This doesn't, like, tell you what they put in it. Not, like, to the point that you can make it from scratch. My mouth's all sticky from the jam. So if you guys have a Tesco and can get Tesco uh, scone, scone mix. Sorry, I'm not going to remember to say that right. You just, it's got to be like the scone song. That's scone, 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 <laughs> Stop scone. Now it. you won't forget it. St right? <laughs> Uh, Marco says, I'm the only international that you need. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. All right. I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, Alex says you can get it at Tesco or Sanbury's. I, I, look, I'm sure we don't have too many people from England. Maybe like, I know Linda and Alec and maybe like two or three more I've of you. I've never heard those stores. Uh, chiming in. I'm sure you guys know all about this stuff and the rest of us know nothing about it. So I don't know. I don't even know you can get a mix aside from my, uh. So do I have to call this scone nuts now instead of scone nuts? Because yes. scone nuts sounds better. What is that? It's my apple fritter scone nuts. Wait. Donut inspired scone mix. Scone. Where did you mix. get those at? Were you here for the beginning of the show? Uh. Dan doesn't even watch my show, you guys. Yeah. Where, where See did you why we got to push him out? He doesn't even pay attention. <sighs> where did you? Um, home I bits. was watching hockey. Home <laughs> priorities. Like I was with you when you got it. No. No, I, I found this at Home Goods and I'm excited to try it. And I wonder if it's going to have that same like texture and oh, consistency. Right. So we, we will see. You had that as backup? Or like. No, I had that just to show like this is what I have. So we can make these again soon and then we'll be able to compare them. This is different. This is nothing like this. This is apple fritter. So it has apple bits and scones. And it says it has a creamy vanilla glaze, but, it's made but I don't for, know where that it's is. It's like more of a cookie. 
Probably. Are we making that on one of your shows? I don't know. Okay. I hadn't thought about that yet. No, I like to make stuff that people can make along with us, not necessarily from a mix. So, probably not, but I will let you guys know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what... Uh, Dan doesn't pay attention. Come on, you live with him! And he doesn't pay attention. No, I'm good. <laughs> Are you, though? I was probably watching hockey. Everybody watching knows what that is and what I was talking about. Well, but... yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they tuned in. Not... Dan. I, I was watching hockey. So, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about scones if you try them. Scones? It's, it feels really weird to say scones since I've never said it that way. But thank you guys all for joining us tonight. I highly recommend the cream cheese, clotted cream, not the heavy cream, clotted cream. Make some scones. Let me know what you think. I just want to eat more now. This is my dinner, you know that, right? Is that what you're having for dinner? I had a burger for lunch, so... That's true. Uh, Amanda says, Crystal, you do have to separate the solids and the whey, and then use the solids to spread. Try that real, real quick. There's no solids. That's what I'm saying, though. I did try that in the beginning. We got chunks of solid, but not enough... There was enough. a couple of chunks, but not enough to do anything with, and it was hard. I, it was like gummy almost. I think it needed to cook a higher temperature. I think I don't even care. I'm never doing it again. Never know. I don't know. Never know. Maybe like Alex said, it was an oven thing. I don't know. Uh, Alex says, hey, Crystal, technically I'm American, but spent summers in England as a young adult. You still know more about England than I do, so you've educated me a bit on some things tonight, and I appreciate that you were here to uh, help me out with that. Uh, Jess T, thank you for the super chat, says, hey, Crystal, smile, you're awesome. Thanks. Cheesy? Yes. Did it make you smile? I hope so. It did. I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you. You guys are very complimentary to me, which helps. When we started doing stuff, like when Dan started doing stuff on camera, I didn't want to be on camera because I didn't want the hate. I did not want anybody to be like, oh, this girl's a bitch. I don't want to hear what she has to say. Um, but you guys love my bitchiness and I love you for that. So thanks for, thanks for being nice to me, guys. That's all I got. We what done? We, what we got, got anything else? Tomorrow we will be here. Uh, we talked about it in the middle, but you guys join us tomorrow night. Same Dan channel, same Dan time. We'll be here at 6 p.m. for a call-in episode of Dan Takes. You don't want to miss it. Dan's going to be there doing that thing he does. And if you guys haven't already, please hit that thumbs up on your way out. It does help the algorithm. I see there's more of you here than thumbs up, so it would really help us if you guys could hit that on your way out. Thank you guys so much for um, just for being here. Appreciate it. Uncle Yukon says, bitchiness is fun. I agree. Some people don't like it. Uh, Marco says, hey, Dan. Yeah. Penguins lost. Oh, I know. I watched it. <laughs> I know what it is. It's like Marco's still licking his wounds from the Super Bowl. And I didn't give him a hard time. I didn't give him a hard time. But now I feel like there's like a, there's going to be some pushback. You did give him a hard time. No, ahead of time. Ahead of time. But yes. then after it like became real and you know his team just didn't like they just didn't perform. Like I didn't give him a hard time, but I know there's backlash coming, so right. I get it. And yes, my Fair team, enough. Fair my enough. team did lose a big game tonight. Uh, Hannah says the hate like we have for Dan's wife. I hate that bitch. Oh my yeah, gosh. Screw her. Who who won the Red Wings or the Lightning? I hope the Red Wings. I need to keep your Lightning down. Uh, your Red Wings or the Red Wings actually uh, lost to the to your Tampa Bay Lightning. <laughs> all right all right enough hockey talks yes. let's get out of here thank you guys again for being here and we will see you tomorrow night have a great night and eat your scones <laughs> bye guys <laughs>